is what is with my hands? Hey, I started doing a video in like three months. So basically, I've been doing videos because I've not known what to make videos on. I've just had like no ideas, and I've really just not felt like making videos. So yeah, but I'm trying to get back into it. Anyway, with the summer only a few months away, how would you like to lose 10 pounds in only three days? If the answer is yes, keep on watching. So as I said, summer is only a few months away, and like the other day, I was trying on my summer clothes, and like the ones I was just wearing like last year, and they fit me fine. And I was trying them on, and they were so tight, and I was just like, what? Like, I think if, when you put on weight, like, you don't actually notice it until you try on old clothes, and you're just like, is that how much weight I put on? So I was trying these clothes, and I was like, I'm determined to lose some weight for summer. And I went ahead, and I was just looking online, and I found this site called The Military Diet. It's something that everyone can do, and it is quite easy to follow. So basically, it is a set out meal plan, and it has your breakfast, lunch, and tea. And what you do, you just follow it, it's really simple, and you can lose up to £10 with it. So the diet plan goes like this, but I will put everything in the description, like links and actually what you gotta eat, if you wanna look at that. For day one, you eat half a grapefruit, a slice of toast with two tablespoons of peanut butter, with one cup of coffee or tea, but you can't have like sugar or milk in it. So I decided to have green tea. This day, breakfast, I didn't really like, simply because I'd never tried grapefruit before, and this day I tried it. And I really hate oranges, and that's sort of what a grapefruit, okay, it's not, a orange but it like tastes like it and the texture and I really didn't like it. I ended up getting most of the dog. So for breakfast on day one all I had was the one size toast and the two tablespoons of peanut butter. So it was quite crap and I was hungry waiting for my lunch. Then for lunch you have a half a tin of tuna, one slice of bread or toast with again a cup of coffee or tea. Okay so I did cheat a bit on this one and had two pieces of toast simply because I was so hungry from breakfast and then I'd been out shopping and I was just like starving and I come in and was like I cannot leave a piece of toast and half a tin of tuna so I had that and surprisingly it filled me up like for me that was like quite small and it did fill me up then for dinner was three ounces of any meat same size as deck of cards uh, one cup of green beans one small apple half a banana and one cup of ice cream yes you do get ice cream for like every day of this diet so that is sort of amazing um, with this one, obviously I'm vegetarian, so I had some, the corn, the corn chicken filly things. Uh, I just made it up to the same calorie as normal chicken. Um, I didn't have a couple of green beans because I don't like green beans, or I had broccoli instead and again just made it up to the same calories. So, so yeah, that day, the breakfast was a bit crap, it didn't fill me, but the rest of the day was fine. You know, the, the food filled me up um, and I wasn't hungry. And yeah, so it was good. I didn't mind that day, it was easy. For day two is one egg cooked however you like it, one slice of bread on toast, and half a banana. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, with the whole half a banana thing, I just had a normal banana, because I was like, if I have half a banana, if you leave with the half a banana, it's gonna go nasty. So it's wasting half a banana. So I just had a banana, a whole. Um, they are really small, so it's like, oh well. For lunch is one hard boiled egg, Five saltine crackers, one cup of cottage cheese. Uh, for dinner, you have two hot dogs, no bun, half a cup of carrot, one cup of broccoli, half a cup of vanilla ice cream, and half a banana. Obviously, I had corn sausages and just tried to make it up to the same calorie count. And then, yeah, that day was good. I liked that meal. It was, like, really filling. Day three, basically, the one where they just, like, cut it down so low. Like, the meals aren't big. And this was probably the day that I was hungry. To make it worse, my mum goes, Oh, you know what we should have tonight? Chinese. And I'm just like, Chinese? I love Chinese. And I was like, I was so tempted to just go, fuck it, I want the Chinese. But I was like, you know what? I'll have the Chinese and just save it tomorrow. So I had the Chinese the next day. I had to come off the diet. So yeah, for this one you have the five saltine crackers, one slice of cheddar cheese, and one small apple. I didn't have no saltine crackers either, so I had Ravitas and just made up to the calorie count. For lunch you have one egg, however you like it, and one slice of toast. Again, it, it was filling. I was a bit hungry, like getting closer to like tea time. And then for tea, which was like the worst day, was one cup of tuna, half a banana and some ice cream. I was so hungry. Um, to make it worse, my whole family obviously was eating Chinese and I was just sitting there with some tuna it was horrible. I definitely think day three was the hardest because the food was a bit crap and there was so little of it. So yeah, definitely the worst day. So overall, I think this diet isn't hard. It isn't hard to follow. You got your meals set out for you. 
and it's not like you starve yourself, you are having food, even if it is smaller portions. And the food is actually good for you because I've been using uh, the app My Fitness Pal. They just like write in, it's sort of like a food diary, but obviously on an app, uh, so it's easier. Uh, I've been using that, and like it will tell you if the food is like high in something and if it's good for you and all that. So the food is good for you. Some of the food obviously I didn't like, um, which I guess is the same for everyone. They can't have a diet that's going to fit everyone. But there are substitutions, but the more if like if you're a vegetarian or you don't eat. I don't dairy or something, you know, stuff like that. And if you go to the military diet plan website, and I'll put the link below, it does have a section where all substitutes are, and just like it's loads of information to look at. So the diet does say you can lose up to ten pounds. It doesn't say you are definitely going to lose ten pounds. It does all depend on your body and your lifestyle. I guess if you haven't got much fat on you to begin with, it's going to be harder to lose it. I have seen that in um, other people's videos, like the smaller people, like they don't lose as many pounds. And I guess it all does depend on if you actually stick to the diet. So I lost in total seven pounds, which I was so happy with. I didn't follow it like properly. Like I would have more than the half of whatever the food was, and I would have like say two slices of toast instead of one. So I didn't follow it properly. So when it actually came to the day after the diet, when I was weighing myself in the morning, I was like, I have not lost anything, or I've lost like two pounds or something. And I was seven. I was like, wow. And um, so I was really happy with it. And yeah, I was just like really happy. And I was just like, oh my god, yay! With this diet as well, you don't have to just do it once, you can do it over, you can repeat it like how many other times you want. It does say that on the website as well that you can repeat it until you got to a certain weight or whatever, but you are supposed to take four days off in between each time doing it, I guess just give your body a rest. Uh, so yeah, you can do it as many times as you want until you reach your however much weight you want to lose. Also I've got to mention, I didn't do any exercise on this and I still lost the seven pounds, which again, I was really surprised with. Uh, so yeah, it is, it's easy. just, if you want to give it a go, I think as well, if you are starting to try and lose weight, it is good to do this because it sort of gives you that little boost of going, I can lose this. Uh, so yeah, it's also good for that, I think. So yeah, give it a go. So yeah, definitely give this a go and tell me in the comments if you want, if you do lose any weight. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please get a thumbs up and <laughs> Your book gets stuck. <laughs> and remember to subscribe. Do I smell nice? Uh, I'll see you again probably quite soon. I'm going to try my videos. Bye. <laughs> Why don't you love me? Dog hat is <laughs>